You've got mail. All right, March 2nd. Got a package in the mail from Hong Kong. And it says it's a metal poster. Not quite sure what this is going to be. Let's open it up and take a look. It's not what I was thinking it's going to be. Open this up and then we got some in styrofoam. So I'm going to have to cut the tape and open it more. All right, we open it up and it's a giant travel bug. And it's Lupus V's giant travel bug. Now he sent me this from Bel Belgium. Actually, this is the second attempt to send this for, for, to me from Belgium. And the first one got lost in the mail, so he recreated it. And I guess they, he had it shipped right from China to us. All right. So I've got permission to share the tracking code there. Uh, track me, geocaching, geocaching.com, travel bug. Do not keep me. Help me travel from cache to cache. Uh, it's gonna be some big caches to fit this in. So he wants this to go down to the States. Uh, right now the border's closed and so nobody's crossing over to the States. So it's gonna be in my possession for a little bit. Uh, unless I run across somebody that's heading down that way. Here's the uh, the big traveling TB. And current goal, there is currently no goal for this item. <laughs> no additional details available. <laughs> and it's, if you want to follow this, it's TB8XNRT. Pretty cool uh, tracking. Alrighty, March 3rd, and we got a path tag mailer in the mail today. This one's from uh, Pash88 again, and we did a couple trades for some tags that we, uh, so extra tags I had uh, WW Worldwide Flash Mob Coins. <laughs> And another tag so four all together uh, we're trading uh, so I'm trading for two of her tags that she had and two that's in production that well, she'll send uh, once she gets those so we have uh, Pasha 88 in Austin and Wolfie's Bay and uh, here's what Austin looks like on the Austin is my pug X, Pomeranium X rescue dog that has been part of my life since April 2019. He is a total goofball and the tag shows his smile. Austin is a avid geocacher and loves coming with me wherever I go. So trades are welcome for that one. And then the, the second one is Pasha's uh, Weller's Bay. This is the number one in my boat series. There will be a total of 12 tags series, one per month for 12 months in 2021. All tags in the series are based on actual photographs taken at well, on Wellers Bay on, in Lake Ontario near, near Trenton, Ontario. The boat is uh, in the image uh, are my parents' 29 cr Crown Line 215 SS boat bow router. Bow rider. <laughs> Or taken along the shores of Bald Head, I, I, Bald Head Island, Prince Edward County. They are all designed with assistance from my mum, Pasha 88's mum, in the same artistic style. I currently have a rough sketches of the first seven tags in the series and will continue to design more in my spare time. Tags in the series will be limited to 50 each. Trades were, will be very limited specifically for other boating can, canoe. 
supposed to be canoeing or kayaking tags. If you would like to tag, please add it to your wish list. I will be very selective on trades of this tag. So, two pretty cool, cool coins. Got two more coming from her that she's got in production. So thanks Pasha88 for uh, the trades. Well, it's uh, March 9th, and we got a letter in the mail from Oklahoma. And inside, a little thank you letter, and a tag. So we have the tag, and this is from Steve Man USA. OKC loves the USA. We did a trade. This is what it looks like online. So we traded. He had a wish in for one of the extra tags I had of the lion geocaching. So we did a trade for that one. So thanks, Steve. Uh, it's a cool looking tag. And he also included uh, this little cutout of the tag. <laughs> and. Uh, the path tag mailer's got lots and lots of uh, trackables to discover, so I'll be uh, discovering all those. All right, March 11th, and we have a couple letters in the mail. The first one is a path tag from Keepers of the Cash Flow. And this is the Gypsy Soul. And the write-up on that is the Gypsy Soul has many forms and for each Gypsy it is a unique as each snowflake. Sash Cash Heart belongs to the world itself. The open road and her family with her bare hippie feet and the sands in the grass. Music in the air and comfort in the campfire can bring under the night sky. She is home at the North Country Fair, North County Fair. The initial concept of the tag was co-designed by Sash Cash and a friend many years ago. The artwork has been combined with other components and submitted many times to be used as official artwork for the music festival she holds so close to her heart, but she has yet to have it picked for that purpose. Perhaps one day when the idea of designing a tag came to, to mind, she knew this would be her very her first tag. P.S. Much with, like the Gypsy Soul, the path tag also glows in the dark. Oh, I don't even know if I have any uh, glow in the dark. I should uh, go down and check the path tags when it's uh, lights are off. And the second one, message that came through, and this is from uh, David B, 1957. And these are unexpected tags. So thanks David for sending them. Uh, I don't believe we've done a trade. So there's a uh, skull and crossbones with a Canadian bandana and this one which is a forklift so I assume Dave drives forklift that's what it looks like online just a short explanation of my tag the light blue sky is representative of the prostate cancer which I have beaten to the date the mountains are from the edges of the north shore of the St. Lawrence River we are countless streams within the forest, and forklift represents what I've been doing for work before retiring October 1st, 2013. I was in was a crew chief in the shipping department where I work. The Canadian flag is part of me and something that I'm very proud of. I hope you enjoy my tag as much as I enjoy designing it. And he repeats it in French. Uh, Dave's from uh, Quebec and the keepers of cash flows from Alberta so we uh, east and west 
And the second tag, proud member of DGS Canada made these tags to offer other members if they want one. Why the light blue background? It represents prostate cancer that I beat in November 2010. I'm also a very proud Canadian, therefore the Canadian flag. I hope you enjoy the tag as much as I enjoy creating it. Uh, two very good, cool tags. Great uh, news that uh, he's beat prostate cancer. That's a, a wicked one to get. So thanks Dave for the tags. I'll add them to my collection and we'll see about sending you a, a similarable tag. Okay. Well, it's March 23rd. I just picked this up at the post office. Came in from shop.geocaching.com. And guess what? They nailed me customs for $14.96 on this. One out of every 10 packages gets pulled in and I gotta pay duty on it for some reason so let's open her up and see what's uh, inside okay first up it's the Mars Rover Lego geocaching trackable so I'm gonna put that together and then we have the wonders of the world passport for 2021 so it comes with a companion tag and opens up and it's got the natural wonders and the solar wonders and then we have the cash in trash out tag and coin set repair restore improve trackable at geocaching.com and then, for St. Patty's Day that just went by a few days ago, we have the Pot of Gold. It's actually uh, made by Oak Coins. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So, I'll get the Lego put together and see what it looks like. Wow, there's a lot of pieces here. Okay, that took longer than I would have expected, <laughs> but there you go. Does mine look like theirs? Nice. <laughs> well, it's March 25th, and we got a package in the mail from Utah, and this is from Geoswag, the cool people that make... Uh, Oak coins and let's see what we got. We have some. I'll get this all straightened. Okay, not sure how I ended up with two, but I got two of the Bernie Sanders mittens with his mask sitting on the ammo can. I ordered one, but uh, may hit two by mistake. And then uh, we have the Templar Cross. So this is part of the new uh, Snag the Tag uh, game that's coming on. And they have a Panion Tag. And then we have three of the Templar Crosses. And these are not coins, but they are the tags that you're going to find for the Snag the Tag game. One being mine and two I will hide. And then they will fit in here and they're magnetic. And oops, sorry, that didn't hold very well. And there's the, the geocoin that you'll get for finding one of those tags. And then as an added bonus, we have the Snag the Tag Templar Path Tag. It's pretty cool. Okay, 
So I guess they're not magnetic, but I've just seen something cool. The uh, A in the tag shows through on the bottom here. I wonder if that means something. Okay, I was thinking this was a path tag, but it's not. It's from a site called uh, Discover Tags, www.discovertags.com. And they have their own site where you can buy tags and trade tags and pretty cool. So I'll have to check them out and see what's uh, in here. Uh, there's a gallery like uh, on Snag the Tag. Uh, pretty cool. And then uh, you can actually discover these tags as well as own them, more like a geocoin. So there's already some tags in there. So have to see uh, how they compare to uh, path tags. Fargo. Okay, it's March 30th. We got a couple letters in the mail today. And this one's from Pasha in Brantford with her uh, latest tag. This is uh, part of her boat series. This is number two in the boat series. This will, there will be a total of 12 tags in the series. All tags are series are based on actual photographs taken on Wellers Bay at Lake Ontario near Trenton, Ontario. The boat in the image are my images are my parents 2019 crown liner 215 ss bow rider bow rider <laughs> or taken along the shores of bald head island prince edward county they are all designed with assistance from my mom pasha 88's mom in the same artistic style I currently have a rough sketches for the first 11 tags in the series and will continue to design more in my spare time. Tags in the series will be limited to 50 of each trade. So, and that's her uh, little puppy. So, thanks Pasha for the, another trade. And then all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Can you guess who this is from? Yep, it's that guy. Josh, the geocaching vlogger. And he sent me a trade for my his latest tag. And there it is up on the screen. So the geocaching vlogger and 2011 to 2021 and this was actually designed by uh, Rich um, Komi Kino so pretty cool design there thanks Josh for the trade this is the first uh, tag I got from uh, Josh and he sent along his first divine card and I believe that's him at Fargo. So you can get these custom discovery cards uh, made up for uh, you if you uh, go to FTF Magazine. So this one's on the Fargo Moorhead GeoTour GT488, uh, North Dakota, Moorhead, Minnesota, USA. Three cities, two states, one epic GeoTour. And uh, Josh did the tour, and you see him in his video, and he has a little write-up. I've done geo tours all over the world. <laughs> well, we made it to March 31st, and this just came in in the mail, and made it to the March mail call. So this is from uh, the Netherlands. And it was a trade done with L2 
LV2 Create. He sent me a couple of his uh, wooden nickels. So, traded them. I sent him a couple uh, path, path tags. Uh, my Sim Rebel path tag, and I sent him a Geo GCNW uh, X tag. Yeah, he never heard of path tags before. They don't do a lot of path tags in, in the Netherlands, I guess. So, so got a few of these uh, wood nickels. They uh, pretty neat. Uh, they call them woodies over there. So I'll add these to my collection. All right, so that's the March mail calls in April. <laughs> uh, I wanted this out last week, but this I knew this stuff was coming in this week, so I delayed it a week. And we got it all done. So I'm not sure what's coming in in April. Uh, got one coin on order, uh, but who knows? So if you want to trade path tags or anything else, uh, shoot me a message. I'm happy to trade, and I'll feature it here, feature it here on the geocaching with simulable mail call videos. And until next time, we'll see you later. Cash later, cash on the trails.